Hello there, my lovely fellow Leos. I'm Annette. This is Intuitive Astrology and Tarot by Annette. I'm here to do your general love reading from now through the end of July 2019. Please like, share, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Make sure you hit the notification bell over there on the side. And if you'd like to book a personal reading, the link to my website to do all of that is going to be down below in the description box. I do appreciate your positive comments and feedback. Before we get started, I want to remind you guys about my Blessed and Dressed 7-Day Devotional Candles. I make seven different varieties. These are meant to be used in prayer and meditation. Um, they are $8 each and available for shipping within the continental U.S. There is an informational video here on the channel and the link to it is on the community uh, tab. If you're interested in these Blessed and Dressed seven-day devotional candles, you can send me an email and I will get you that information. But they are uh, made with my own proprietary blend of uh, blessed oils and herbs, and uh, they're meant to be used uh, with good intent. To go with those, I also have my new line of homemade Corpse Tom Milk and Honey Spiritual Baths. They're based on the tarot. There's eight different varieties. These are $10 per 12 ounce packet, which is enough for one to two spiritual baths. Um, they are absolutely wonderful. Uh, I make them myself. Um, and they're, they're good to use with the candles um, for just when you're feeling down or you need a spiritual boost. Um, or you're trying to, to manifest something or, or clear your energy. They're absolutely amazing. They make your skin feel so good and they smell divine. They're all natural, organic. Um, and again, if you're interested, watch the informational video or send me an email and I'll get that to you. Um, so I hope you enjoy them. I've had a lot of positive feedback and I use them myself and I absolutely love them. All right, so this is going to be a general reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cusp. Not all of the messages are going to make sense for every single person who watches these videos. Because I'm a psychic medium, I could be picking up past, present, or future energies or a mix of both. Um, just keep an open mind. Remember, the future is never set in stone and everybody's got free will. These messages can resonate at any time. There is no expiration date. Um, so this is for my beautiful kings and queens of the jungle, my fellow lions and lionesses. I also am Leo rising in Venus. I'm Cancer Sun and Capricorn Moon. All right. Let's see what's going on for my beautiful kitty cats. Kitty cats. General love reading, please, for Leo. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and cusp. Thank you, spirit. If you'd like to book a personal reading, again, the link to my website is going to be down in the description box below the video. All right, so my Leos and your overall energy... You've got the dragon, strength and wisdom. You are very strong and wise. Okay. Just like a lion, just like you should be. Leos are natural born leaders. And they're very, generally very loving. They can be a bit overly dramatic and do, they can be attention whores. But they earn it. They definitely earn it. They're worthy of it. Very, somebody is very strong and wise. Strength and wisdom. All right, so let's see what Spirit wants to share with my beautiful Leo. General love reading, please, Spirit. Leo, sun, moon, rising, <clears throat> Venus, and cusp. Okay, off the bottom of the deck, you've got the Hermit, Virgo energy. This is a sign that comes after you. It's a number nine. Nine is like almost completion. Somebody 
standing in the shower thinking. And they're thinking and thinking. They're doing some soul searching. Um, they've gone within to seek inner strength and wisdom. This is a, a sage. This is the, the somebody's cavemanning it. They're they're deep in thought, getting in touch with their their inner selves, with their soul, their spirit, figuring out what it is they want. This is someone who's spending time in, in solitude. Very spiritual energy there. You could be dealing with a Virgo or have Virgo in your chart. And then you've got the Nine of Swords here, another nine. This is mental stress, anguish, nightmare. Uh, somebody is just stressed out, and but they're, they're going within. They need to release this energy. Stress and worry is wasted energy. Air sign energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Somebody's really, really worried, and they're praying for strength and wisdom to get them through this. Then you've got the world here, completing a cycle, ending the stress and mental anguish. This is also seen as um, successfully completing a uh, your karmic lessons, a new it's time for a new beginning. This is also could be somebody coming back around to you. This is somebody who might be having um, repetitive thoughts and um, and obsess obsessive compulsive disorder. Um, this can also be representative of world travel um, or the internet or world wide web. So they might be stressed up, worried about something that they saw online, but they're also deep in thought. It was something that provoked this deep thought. But more so what I see here is the ending of... You don't need to worry. You've, you've successfully ended the cycle, and it's time now for a new beginning. The world represents all of the fixed signs of uh, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, and Leo. Got the Ten of Cups. Another ten, a number of completion here. This is emotional happiness, bliss, you're happily ever after. Okay. Somebody might be worried that they'll never have their happily ever after or maybe somebody won't come back around because they've been silent. Um, somebody's been stressed out. They just want the stress to end so that they can have their happiness. Somebody might be worried that they're going to literally end up old and alone. But somebody somebody thinks the world of somebody. Somebody really, really thinks highly of you and they think the world of you. And they may have messed up or something and now they're feeling really bad and guilty and they're trying to figure out how to come back around to you. On the bottom of the deck, you've got the Three of Swords. This is heartbreak, betrayal, loss, grief, possibly due to a third-party situation. Air sign, energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Underneath that, you've got the Ace of Cups. Here's your new beginning. The first Ace in the Ten of Cups. After an ending, now there's a new beginning. They want to come back around and offer love and reconciliation. You could, and then you've got the King of Cups and the Ten of Swords. So yes, this is the end of betrayal, feeling stabbed in the back, mental stress and anguish. You already have the Nine. Now you've got the Ten. It could have been to a to a third party situation. You've got our buddy Mr. Kaholic here, Al Al Kaholic. It's the King of Cups, Water Sign, Energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This could be you or somebody that you're dealing with. In his low vibration, this king may um, be very withholding. He doesn't wear his heart on his sleeve, much like we Leos do. This guy holds back. 
It doesn't mean that he doesn't love. In fact, he does get very emotional to the point where it stresses him out. He worries too much. He gets very up in his feels, but he hides it. He keeps it to himself to the point of stressing himself out and causing stress for other people. Um, in his low vibration, he may also tend to overindulge in uh, booze, alcohol, rich foods. In his high vibration, this man is very, very romantic, loving, passionate, um, generous, kind. Uh, just a real sweetheart, and he'll give you literally give you the shirt off of his back. He offers healing love, and that he's now going to come in and offer his cup to heal this stress, anguish, betrayal, heartbreak, and end this cycle so that a new beginning of love can come in for you, Leo. And it's the start of emo something that's going to lead to emotional fulfillment and happiness after somebody went within and praying for strength and wisdom from, from God, divine source energy, whatever you believe in. So absolutely gorgeous. Just know that they are going to apologize and they do love you very, very much. They were just, I think they were... They loved you so much, it frightens them. They loved you so much, it frightens them. And they may have, somebody may have been involved in a long distance relationship with a third party karmic soulmate that did not work out, that was very, very stressful. And there's a pregnant woman here. Somebody might have found out that somebody got pregnant from a third party and they were worried. Maybe they didn't know who the baby daddy was. Somebody's like freaking out. But there's no need to worry. This, this stress has ended now, and there's a chance for a new beginning. And on the bottom of the deck, you've got the High Priestess, Pisces, Cancer, Energy. Again, you may know or be dealing with a Virgo, Pisces, or Cancer. She can also be related to Virgo because she is um, the moon goddess. She's Diana Artemis, the goddess of the hunt. But because she's ruled by the moon, she's more, more than likely cancer, according to Rider Waite. Um, she's a secret keeper. She's beautiful, drop-dead gorgeous. She's wise. She is mother, maiden, and crone all wrapped into one. She's highly intuitive, possibly psychic. She, she has an inner knowing. This is also silence is golden. There's like a pregnant pause here before this new beginning comes in because somebody's gone within and you, like, you can feel the tension. You know something's coming. She knows. She's, she sees through the veil. She has one foot in, on earth and the other foot in the spirit realm. She knows. This is like, a again, an ending and a new beginning, and it's like a pause. Two is a number of balance and a pause. There might be no communication. Somebody is keeping their deep love and feelings for this gorgeous goddess to themselves. And she's just sitting back and waiting. Beautiful energy. All right, let's grab another deck. We're going to clarify the major arcanas for you, Leo. So just trust your intuition. Keep your mouth shut. You already know. You're intuitive. You know this person knows what they need to do, and it's tearing them up because they, they think the world of you, and they know they messed up really bad. They know they hurt you, or, or you might be feeling this way towards another person where you know you messed up, and you're trying to figure out 
how to make it right, and you're just kind of keeping to yourself and praying for strength and wisdom. Remember that we're working with spiritual energy. The stories can be flipped around. Why is the dragon here? Strength and wisdom for Leo. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and cusp, please, spirit. But the, at the stress and mental anguish is over with now. It's coming to an end. You're going to get your fulfillment here. You're going to get have emotional fulfillment. And no, you're not going to end up alone here because both of these people are very single. And they're they're wise people, they're older. This is a, this these people are older, and I'm talking over the age of 40. They've been around the block a few times here with this world card. This isn't their first uh, go around at the rodeo. So no, you're not going to die old and lonely with 50 cats. This person's coming back around. Okay. Everybody's just taking a little bit of a time out here, and one person in particular is getting in touch to figure out what they truly want, and they already know what they want. They're just trying to figure out a way to come in and uh, go for it. Why is the dragon here? Strength and wisdom for Leo. You've got the Ten of Cups here again. And there's two people here. They know they want you. And this is your happily ever after. And this is like, with this dragon here, and happily, it's like a fairy tale. This is like a fairy tale romance. Somebody's going to slay some dragons here. The King of Cups is going to slay, slay these dragons. Why is the Ten of Cups here twice? For Leo. Got the Empress. You're everything they can want. She is the queen of all queens. This woman is absolutely drop dead gorgeous. When you get the Empress and the High Priestess there, that is one hell of a woman. Not only is she intuitive and psychic, but she's also loving, nurturing, creative, passionate. And she, she is just going to keep quiet and sit back and be receptive. This is, this is the King of Cups or Hermit's dream girl. That's a whole lot of woman there. And it's like, it freaks him out. He feels so much for her that it scares him. And she's just sitting back being chill. She knows she's going to get what she wants. And underneath the High Priestess, I saw the Fool card. So this is definitely a new beginning. After the world, you usually get the Fool, which is an, a clean slate. So why is the Hermit here? I'll come back and I'll clarify the Empress in a minute. But we're going to clarify the Hermit. Why is the Hermit here? The Chariot, Cancer Energy. We're in Cancer season right now as I record this. And... Uh, this reading is going to take you through to the start of your, your uh, solar return in Leo. Um, somebody is now doing some soul searching, gone with it, and now they're ready to move forward quickly and um, get on the same page. This is balancing divine masculine and divine feminine energy, yin and yang, riding out the storm. They got the umbrella, cancer energy. Again, cancers are highly intuitive. Um, we've got Cancer very strong here. So either you've got Cancer strongly placed in your chart, because the Empress not only is Taurus and Libra, but she is Cancer because she's the mother of the universe. Cancer, Cancer, Virgo. So you could, um, again, be dealing with somebody with a lot of Cancer, Pisces, Virgo in their chart, or you've got it in your chart. But this is moving on now, getting out of the stuck energy Again, it's just a pregnant pause. This is complete now. It's time time to start start a new cycle here. Why is the chariot here? And rising above and ascending. This is taking something to the next level. Ascending and evolving. It's growth of the soul. Four of Pentacles. 
somebody whoever had one last stuff to give is now going to start investing in this connection to bring stability before they were not giving much of anything to this connection and somebody might have said you know what if you're not gonna you know bring bring in balance or start investing something i'm gonna move on and somebody now is thinking about that and now they're willing to invest. Somebody might, like, they were holding back. They might have been holding back from moving forward until they could be very clear as to what they wanted. Um, so somebody was just leaning back, pulling back their energy, and just not giving very much to this connection. Why is the world here? Strength. This is you, Leo. Someone's been strong. They've gained a lot of strength and wisdom. They're very worldly and wise. Um, this goes back to the dragon card. Taming the beast. You've got the infinity symbol here. You could be dealing with a twin flame or divine soulmate connection here. But having the strength and wisdom knowing that you're complete. Somebody's, they want the world. They ex, somebody expects the world because they know that they are all of that. So this, this woman knows her worth and she, she expects somebody to, they want a partner that completes them. They already got it going on and they want somebody that completes them and brings something to the table. Somebody's also having the strength and courage to come back around and to have a fresh start. Why is strength here with the world? Four of Wands, Twin Flame Energy. So there's going to be not only financial stability, but somebody's going to level up this relationship, taking it to the next level and moving forward quickly after taking a time out to do some thinking. It's time for them to get out of, they've been standing in the shower thinking for way too long. Now they're ready to level up and this is a very strong bond and this is the beginning of a new cycle. It's number eight. So two fours equal eight and then you've got number eight. So eight's and fours might be significant too. The number two, tens. Okay. Four of wands, clarifying the world and strength, leveling up, having a strong foundation, taking, taking this connection to the next level. Okay, why is the empress here with the ten of cups? Eight, another eight, eight of swords. Somebody was feeling stuck, trapped, insecure. Couldn't, cannot stop thinking about this empress and how, how complete they feel. Feeling like they weren't good enough. Feeling unworthy. This is mental mind fuckery. This empress is above that. She knows she's got it going on. There's no reason for anyone. Somebody might feel insecure because this woman is just so flippin' amazing. Or this, like I said, this person is amazing. And they can't stop thinking. And it's like they're, they're spellbound. They're literally spellbound and charmed by her because she's got a ball of fire. She's very intuitive. Like I said, she's, she is possibly somebody who works in the divine arts or esoteric. She's absolutely gorgeous, but she knows how to call in and, uh, somebody's, uh, feeling stuck right now, but they're getting themselves out of that. Cause like I said, you go from the eight to the nine to the 10 that's done. And then you've got the ace of cups here. So they are coming in after taking some time out and they are going to make things right here. Why is the high priestess here? 
at the King of Swords. Somebody's very clear. This is an authority figure. This is somebody who uh, may, may have military law background or they're a counselor, a doctor. Uh, this is someone who's a very wise spiritual counselor. This could be someone like uh, a psychic medium tarot reader. Uh, this is someone who is very who is very detached, cold, and aloof, or they give off that appearance. But ex they have a lot of experience. They're very worldly, and they know what they're talking about. Someone may be um, observing and taking notes and trying to leave their emotions out of it. This is also, it could be somebody on the other side protecting this high priestess. She has a direct line to the spirit realm. The veil is very thin right now. Both people in this connection may be extremely wise and very spiritual and highly intuitive. But somebody's going to come forward and speak his truth and reconciliation and then they're going to level up this connection beautiful on the bottom of the clarifying deck you've got our buddy carlos spicy wiener or carla spicy taco this is your one night stand player type of night he's adventurous he's passionate he is raring to go he's also back and forth and in and out like a revolving door somebody was acting like a player before and somebody to, had to take a time out. You don't come into the Empress or the High Priestess like this. She is way above that. Somebody was acting like an idiot, but now they are ready to take a risk and move forward. They're mature now. They're coming in like a king, and uh, now they're ready to move forward with a lot of passion. Um, you know, so somebody now is grown and they're going to balance their logic with their emotions to have a new beginning and getting out of this fickle energy. They didn't know what they wanted, but now they do because somebody laid down the law. All right, let's get a message from the Vintage Wisdom Oracle for you guys, for my beautiful Leos. Advice card, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cusp, and Love, Please, Spirit, Grace. Someone handled this whole situation with grace and dignity, much like this beautiful High Priestess Empress here. She's absolutely gorgeous and graceful. Someone, this, this kind of woman does not stress out. She, she makes it look easy. Dancing and getting into your body may also be helpful. She looks like the, um, who was the, the Indian spy, Matahari. She, she kind of looks like Mata Hari. Very wise, beautiful, mysterious, and graceful. And what's really crazy is my maiden name is Grace. My brother was a Virgo and my dad was a Cancer. They, I feel their presence very strong right now around me. Um, the veil is very thin right now. Um, so, um, just want to say hi. Both of their names were Fernando, Fernando Sr. and Fernando Jr. Thank you for being with me. I acknowledge your presence and, and thank you for, for watching over me and protecting me. So whenever I see this card, I, I know they're with me. Beautiful energy. 
All right. Oh, all right. That's way too many cards. I'm not taking all those. I just want two messages for my Leos. Two love messages for Leo, please, spirit. gift. Expect a gesture gift to reveal their true intentions. So they are going to back up their words with action this time and offer something that you can see, touch, or feel to express their true intentions. Letter. A message or Contact from your love is on, or is, is on its way. They're going to communicate. They're going to communicate with you now. I said there, somebody's coming forward to speak their truth. And you know it. You can feel it because you're intuitive. And then on the bottom of the love deck, you've got love language. Speaking each other's language nurtures love to grow. The two of you... Um, Communicate clearly, you understand each other. There's a very deep spiritual connection here. And this really, this is about talking and communication, and they're going to give you something. Beautiful, beautiful energy. Wow. All right, Leo, until next time, be the love, be the light. Take care. Bye.